When you come to your room that you're assigned to for an interview, you look at the door and your computer is right to the right of that door. Come to the computer and wait for the instructions to log in. You may log in. first thing you'll see after that is an honor code. You need to read and accept the honor code. And you get a door note that has patient information about the patient you will be seeing today. Sometimes it has their name and basic information, date of birth, the reason for their visit or their chief complaint. Other times it will also include their vital signs. After you have read and taken notes on all of this information that you want to write down on your chart, then you can click the continue button. Next you wait for an announcement that it's time to enter your room. You may knock and enter your room. And at that point you go to the door and you'll knock on the door. As a safety measure, these doors are not unlocked but all you have to do is push on the handle to enter the room. All right, as you enter the room, you're gonna see your patient in the chair across from you. The first thing you wanna do is lay your clipboard and your pen down so that you can use the hand sanitizer that's on the wall. One squirt. Rub it in, let it do its job, and it dries while you're introducing yourself to the patient. Hi, my name is Mary Smith. I'm working with Dr. Parrott today, and she asked me to come in and do a brief interview and exam, and then she will come in and see you in a while. Is that all right with you? All right, so you have permission from the patient for that. Your hand sanitizer is dry. Mr. Brown, it's nice to meet you today. With a handshake, the rolling stool will be here so you can sit down and be on eye level with your patient. Have a seat. And I have here, Mr. Brown, that your name is John Brown. Is that correct? And your date of birth is August 19th, 1922. Is that correct? So now I have confirmed my patient's basic information and introduced myself to them. Here are some other features of the room for you to know about. We've talked about the hand sanitizer that's right inside the door. Just below it is the trash can. Around the room, we have Kleenex on the or behind the monitor always. And then there are two clocks. The first one is on the monitor and it's counting down the time that's left in your encounter with your patient. You need to be subtle in checking that, but it can be a valuable tool for you. The best time to check is when you're helping your patient move from the interview chair up onto the exam table. And then as you're moving around the exam table with your patient, you can see how much time you have remaining in your encounter. The other clock is on the wall opposite the door where you come into the room, and it's there with just the, with the time of day. On the wall beside the computer is our medical equipment. We have it turned on and ready for you to use. The otoscope can be used to check the patient's ears, eyes, nose, throat, and you can um, always bring your own equipment if you choose to do that instead of using the equipment provided here. The panoptic um, is available but is not required for you to use during any of the encounters that we have for you right now. The panoptic also, um, when you're using it to check ears, we have ear tips available. Not the pan, sorry, the otoscope. Sorry, I said. That's okay. So we'll keep going, the otoscope. The otoscope. When you're checking ears, we have ear tips available for you to use that you just push and turn to connect them to them. A few of the otoscopes in this building have been stripped and so the tip does not stay on very securely. Just do the best you can and it's there, and then they can go in the trash when you are finished with your exam. At some point during the encounter with your patient, you'll hear a warning that your time is winding down. You have two minutes remaining. So during that two minutes, you have two things that can happen. First, you can 
conclude your interview and leave the room, which I'll do just in a minute, or if you're still going when the end of the interview occurs, you'll hear this as an announcement. Your time is up, please exit your room. And you need to leave immediately. So let's go. Come back to the computer. You see on the screen a stop and counter button. Click it. And then you go to a screen where you will document the encounter that you just had with your patient. So you will type the information in each of the different segments. You have nine minutes to type up this documentation and you will get a warning when your time is winding down again. You have two minutes remaining. Whenever you're completed with your documentation, then either at the time the last announcement is made. Your time is up. Please submit your document at this time. And then you're done with your encounter. So this was a basic introduction to the exam rooms that you'll use during your standardized patient encounters. We encourage you to come over to the KCCC during open lab hours and experiment with the rooms themselves. You can come inside, you can use the hand sanitizer, you can see that it's very difficult to get it dried off, <laughs> and you can see how much time it really takes you to get that done. You can play with the table, you can play with the computer, you can look to see where the clock is, you can decide whether or not you need to use the step stool. So the whole point of this video was an introduction. Now the work comes that you have to come over here yourself and make sure that you know what you're doing.